This is the session with Lani and Deb, March 13, 2018. Oh, we can see a... Um, there is a round of pool of water, but it's in a grotto. It's mm. in a cave. And it's lit with bluish light. Beautiful. Mm like withdrawing from the world into this beautiful place. Sounds beautiful. Can you hear anything around you there? I can hear water mm. flowing into the pool and it flows out over some um, rocks flying out into, into the ocean. That sounds wonderful. Where there's no worries, it's just peaceful. No problems. What are that smell? Do you sense any smell around there? Oh my, I smell the sea. Mm. I can smell the water that in a cave that you can smell the different smell of being in a cave. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Sounds beautiful. I actually feel that, you know, I'm aware of us doing this, mm -hmm. I feel as if I want to dive into that pool of blue water. <laughs> do you want to do that then? Shall we? Yes, I do. Okay. Want to, I'm going to do that. Dive into I'm diving into this. It's a funny blue. It's not like we see the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's it's a blue that takes me straight down mm -hmm. into. Um, it's mm, it's it's a home. It's where I'm living mm -hmm. at the moment, mm -hmm. and I'm. I must be one of the mer people yeah. with the the tail, the mermaid tail. Wow, how does that feel to be down there with the mermaid tail in that beautiful water? Can you describe it for us? It's just it's just who I am. Mm -hmm. I come up into that cave now and again mm -hmm. to look out across the surface. But I don't go out over the ocean, I go under the ocean because this cave has a, it flows out into underwater to where we are. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're working and living in this under under the ocean place. Mm -hmm. so it's a different well, yeah, it's a different you. time. We we're harnessing energy through the water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's connected to the star constellations. Mm. We bring in streams of energy of light mm -hmm. especially we work when there is uh, not the sunlight brightly above us we work when the sun is in a different position mm -hmm. so that we can work and we, we're fabricating a network of energy and this this is for the purpose of purifying the water mm -hmm. sending out through the water on the planet mm -hmm. um, a, a better line of 
energy, but it's communication. Communication is carried through the water mm -hmm. into different patterns. And we're creating different patterns in the water which are designed to touch certain people, mm -hmm. touch everybody who enters the water. And it gives them a feeling of remembering something much deeper. And we're, we're just doing our part in uh, one area of the oceans on this planet. Mm -hmm. And it is to create these patterns and formula and codes. Mm -hmm. The water. It's necessary, you see, because people have got out of touch with what water really is mm. and the patterns mm -hmm. of water. Mm -hmm. And when, when is all of this happening? Is this all happening now? Or a long time ago? Or in the future? This was before much of the area on the planet was filled with people. Mm -hmm. Before the people were born and evolved. When people were moving through the ocean with carved out vessels from trees. Mm. So they were using what they felt they could create to move between land masses. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they, when we quietly worked <coughs> under the water, under the oceans, mm -hmm. away from people's sight. Right. So is this right at the beginning of time, beginning of the Earth's creation? Or there was actually people still on this earth. There were people mm -hmm. already on earth. Mm -hmm. Where I am now, we, mm -hmm. there were people. But we've been here a long time. Mm -hmm. Before I was birthed, before mm -hmm. I was working and mm -hmm. taking my part. Mm -hmm. We have, <coughs> we work with equipment, we work with different, uh, we work with uh, patterns, mm -hmm. it's all patterns that we, we cycle energy through, mm -hmm. drawing it in from uh, another dimension and we we work with it to create these patterns that we release out mm -hmm. into the ocean. Okay. So the actual equipment, is it physical, tangible equipment or is it? To us it is, mm -hmm. but it is, um, because we can work with energy, it is more energy based. Mm -hmm. And who are you communicating with, with this form of communicating and pattern? We have various groups that we work with. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in coming into the planet from different dimensions, they carry, they carry the energy in, it's transported, into the earth and it, this has been done for many many cycles many many years we I don't know how to measure mm -hmm. the time it's a it's, it's, it exists out of measurement of time mm -hmm. 
it is drawn in depending on the need and what's required to contribute to the overall adjustment of the planet uh, into shifting it, into moving it into a different field of information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's got to be changed, you see. Mm -hmm. It's not working, it's not putting out the right energy. And we, we are called to do this, to mm -hmm. help put out the energy into the planet through the water. So how do you change it to, to match the energy now? It's converted from what we receive from the ones from different parts of your star systems uh, that it's converted just through intention and changing the light and energy of it mm -hmm. so that it, it um, gets transferred from one type of existing matter or material into another type of energy mm -hmm. that is able to move through the oceans in a pattern creates a vibration the vibration is the pattern mm -hmm. so what we do is receive the codes from these other places mm -hmm. and beings and in turn we convert that through intention. It's known in our being of how to do this. Okay. The codes sound interesting. Can you explain the codes that you need to convert and how they work? They contain a, a whole energy fabrication it's it's a plan it's a, it has to be deciphered it's each code has an enormous potential of creation in it mm -hmm. we don't see it as something solid to us it is changing patterns of colors Mm -hmm. and lights okay. and vibration mm -hmm. and it, I know it's a very human question but who sends out these codes these codes from other dimensions where is it all coming from mm, we're from of civilizations from parts of the star field that you might call the Pleiades mm -hmm. and these beings have been assigned to help stabilize, stabilize civilizations such as those that have evolved on earth mm -hmm. in, in such a way that process of evolution will develop and an expansion of goodwill and joy mm -hmm. throughout all of existence. Mm -hmm. So they came from that area of, of existence seeing the need that was well, was known mm -hmm. that energy was needed to assist the planet mm -hmm. so this is all natural energy from a very good source then it's not harming our earth in any way oh no it brings in uh, a sophisticated mm -hmm. yeah, sophisticated way 
to enable the living creatures, the animals on earth, to absorb the higher energy. It's another way, you see. There are many ways of helping mm -hmm. assist evolution. Mm -hmm. Can this energy be used for what we call energy today as an electricity, a form of powering our earth, powering lights and so forth? Is this the kind of energy that we can use? The information in the codes that are brought into the earth can be interpreted to use in ways, as you say, to uh, facilitate certain mechanisms mm -hmm. for the livingness, mm -hmm. for the civilization to use. Okay, so how, how could this help? How could this information help the human race now protect our earth and to heal our earth? Is this a way that can do that? Yes, the people. It needs the people to understand within their hearts that this can be done. Mm -hmm. The heart energy centre in humans, and it is the humans who are needed to create. Mm -hmm. The heart centre interprets and receives the energy mm -hmm. and then it needs to be uh, processed in a way it can be manifested to, into some form mm -hmm. through the awareness, through the actions of the people. So what kind of awareness needs to happen or can happen on a conscious level for these to manifest? And it is already happening. Mm -hmm. uh, over um, many recent life phases, and we would be talking about the extent of two or three generations on earth at the moment okay. people have been aware that energy can be used uh, even people who were aware of the vitality within the rays um, beamed into the planet from the sun they realized that could be used mm -hmm. to create another form of enlivenment and activation mm -hmm. of whatever could receive that energy and contain it. So currently, in your current phases of evolution, it is also able to be received by people who attune themselves to the patterns of energy coming in. Now some of these people uh, were born into the bodies mm. and are coming to the point of remembrance mm. that they are needed to receive this energy and to get together in groups to put it into creating vehicles or um, apparatus that can hold the energy, releasing it out. Mm -hmm. There needs to be the introduction of receptors and devices to enable all of this process. And there are people who are working in this way already. Okay, and so those are the people that have already had this remembrance? Yes. And they found the group to work with them? Small, small groups of even two people 
mm. uh, one who is uh, creating the apparatus to receive and reaching it's what's needed is a receiver and a, a device that emits the energy mm -hmm. transforming it and those two uh, must much be harmonized on the same frequency. Okay. And then there's a transference of, um, this could be seen like liquid patterns. Uh, liquid because it is flowing, flowing energy. And there was a time when this was being initiated in the planet's history. Mm -hmm. and and well, if we, talk, if we talk about it in a, another existence, the consciousness of which still exists, mm -hmm. the field of creation of it still exists, it would have predated uh, many civilizations as you know it to be. Mm -hmm. Now what is going to be coming into appearance, uh, just as people were excited to feel about pyramid shapes, mm -hmm. the next revelu revelation will be spheres of energy that have not been commonly seen because they are of a higher vibration. Okay. These spheres of energy enable this uh, use of energy to enliven and activate the devices needed. Okay. First of all, it will come through in ways to be used to correct the vibration and energy field of, of people, of areas of land, of creatures. Mm -hmm. And from then it's being developed into methods to uh, power m machinery, as you, you would know it to be. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole level of existence coming into being of this type of technology. Yeah. So when is this coming in? When is this revelation of people being able to see these spheres of energy? There's a momentum and engagement of all this at the time, presently, beginning. Mm -hmm. So so in your in your time frame of life, mm -hmm. in your life journey, you will be hearing about this more you'll be seeing it being used okay. light well, it'd be called oh yes it would be called mm -hmm. uh, light technology light technology and yes is it already being called that at the moment some of it is some of the mm -hmm. um, some of it is being used to restore healing patterns for for bodies mm -hmm. for places Creatures. And are the people of power aware of this or do they entertain the idea of this? Yes, mm -hmm. there are people, as you say, in power who are aware of this all around mm -hmm. Earth planet. Mm -hmm. uh, there is um, a sense of knowing the right timing to introduce it. Mm -hmm because it is also able to be used to manipulate mm -hmm. minds, okay. to manipulate people. Mm -hmm. uh, it is like any power source that could be used in different ways. Okay, so they need to be very careful how they introduce it? Yes. Right. So alongside of all of this is energy and groups of people 
working to well correct the the patterns that affect humans who work along destructive ways mm -hmm. and there are also in place areas around the planet that are working to emit peaceful energy. Yeah. We are aware of your discussion about mm -hmm. energy frequencies okay. and it is working with those soothing energy frequencies mm -hmm. that will help trigger the awakening in some of the people. Right. Those energy frequencies are also similar to what's being put out as we first began this discussion through the underwater areas mm -hmm. emitting this same pattern of harmony mm -hmm. and working on multi layers of existence, mm -hmm. working through the thought patterns, mm -hmm. the emotions, mm -hmm. and deeply physical. Okay. So, we're working to open many gateways, portals, mm -hmm. and not just from the beings, from the Pleiadian constellation, but many other dimensions mm -hmm. where people are coming forward to uh, participate in this program of upliftment, of exchange of information, sharing the information to change what had been happening on Earth. Mm -hmm. What's been happening on Earth up until now? Yes, the way that there was too much pollution mm -hmm. of mind and uh, vitality mm -hmm. uh, of the air that's breathed, of the waters. Mm -hmm. So we're talking right now in the present time of 2018. Yes. This is what's happening? Yes. Yes. So there are many, many... Uh, beautiful introductions of this energy which was going to help people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this isn't considered any form of interference of the Earth's at all? This is all to help? This is all helping because mm -hmm. the beings already aware of such things mm -hmm. on Earth have asked for it right. to be revealed. Mm -hmm. So they've had information coming through to them to to know this will exist as well. Yes, many of them were born with the information mm -hmm. that came in with it, but had to evolve in the normal process yeah. of life to get to the stage where their own energy was harmonised with what they uh, intended to bring in. Right, so that's where that remembrance comes in, is that you were talking with. And how were they able to find each other in these groups to collectively be working on this project? Of Some this? of it has happened through the connections that are made when you go into your sleep states. Mm -hmm. Some of the people are aware when they put themselves into the deep trance states, they connect in with beings. They connect together. Some of it, yes, you would call telepathy, okay. conscious communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's how they were able to communicate to find each other, is that correct? Yes, a lot of it happens mm -hmm. in that way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when it's necessary, they will um, use the current technology to communicate and share mm -hmm. ideas. Right. And was this group of people from many different generations, like you said, over two or three generations? Yes, some of them yeah. in the generations have been uh, born again mm -hmm. to carry on the work. Okay, so they've chosen.
chosen to come back again to continue the work yes. in the present day. Yes, and that yeah. civilization we referred to, uh, where this was used, so that the beings can still connect in from that timeline mm -hmm. into this timeline. And uh, uh, it's on a higher aspect of their own being. Mm -hmm. You yourself have the ability to put yourself into a state, to connect into a timeline where you are already working in the same way. Where uh, most people who have awakened to the fact that they are here to help others, mm -hmm also have the ability to connect into an aspect of themselves that's already doing it mm -hmm. and to bring the information from that different aspect into the current phase and this speeds up the implementation of the newer technology mm -hmm. yeah. the newer light way Wonderful. And with this information that's all coming through, what are we to do with this now? Because there's so much information, but obviously we only want to do good with it and not cause any harm for it to be used in a manipulating or wrong, so to speak, way. So what can we do with this information, or why is this information coming through to us now? Initially, even with the knowledge being imparted now, the intention of it creates a field of energy around your thoughts about it, mm -hmm. around your own consciousness levels, your energy field, because knowing about it puts the vibration of it in mm. your energy field, which can be detected. Yeah. Therefore, in bringing this information through to everyone who receives it, there is, uh, as you would say, protection. Mm -hmm. Those who receive it in the intention of helping mm -hmm. already have the way to interpret it to pass it on to people to help them in helping others mm -hmm. uh, so what we're saying is that there is some protection in the energy contained within the words of this information, mm -hmm. within the pattern of it. So it's within the idea, within the concept that's now being put out there? So yes, the it has a self-protecting energy field. Okay, okay, yeah. wonderful. I like the sound of that self-protecting energy field. Yeah. And that's for anyone that's listening to it with the right intentions yes now we do have to say mm -hmm. there are similar types of manifestations which can come in to mm -hmm. earth uh, they will not power the same devices or influence the people who have already created this and working with it in a different timeline so there is that existence. Mm -hmm. uh, it is It is that they will not be able to interfere with this energy we are speaking about with the introduction of it mm -hmm. and ongoing evolution of it. Mm -hmm. It will not be transferred in any way to the ones who would want to use it in a different way. Okay. 
It will not work. I see. Wonderful. So it works purely on the intention. Yes. Rather than anything else. First yes. And, foremost. and it needs the evolved consciousness of the beings to be able to interpret it and use it. Okay. And take it in. Right. So when we've got the love and the light within us to help others and help the planet, that will help activate it. Is that correct? Yes, okay. that's correct. And if you do not have that, or that awareness, or that love to help others, it will not be activated. Is yes. That that's right. Could put it in simple terms. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Wonderful. we understand the difficulty because it is yeah. uh, given to you on multi layers, on more than one layer mm. of understanding. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, it can, the usage of it needs the beings to open their consciousness field mm -hmm. to how it can be used mm -hmm. uh, what it can be used for and the concepts of it will come into the individual consciousness mm -hmm. and that's how creation comes into being is. Mm -hmm. it's manifested through those mm -hmm. uh, ways of creation in the concepts that are coming in because the concepts were the codes mm -hmm. the codes have these concepts mm -hmm. and it's just like anything that is created there's the concept first of uh, for example yes we'll build uh, a city that is powered entirely by the this new way of energy mm -hmm. or Yes, we'll create a home that is created using uh, intention and thought and using energy. Now, how can that come about? You, you open your consciousness field to allow ideas to come in. And when even one person does that, and receives it on a higher vibration, then everyone connected with that individual is also receiving the pattern and it gets amplified and there are ones who are used to interpreting it and then have the tools to create. Mm -hmm. So this is how uh, new inventions yeah. come into beingness Wonderful. and this is how the new energy will come into being used. Yeah. Already it is in, um, in secret, private places mm -hmm. being developed. Okay. Yes. By these groups of people? Yes. With good intentions? Yes. Okay. What can you pinpoint or tell us whereabouts on this earth? Or what countries they're working on this? There are some smaller land masses, islands you would call them, Mm -hmm. where some of this is happening and one of those you um, we identify as Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, there is also a place in the uh, frozen land masses in the uh, southern area of the planet mm -hmm. and there are small pockets of places in northern Europe and in the northern parts of Canada. There's also places in South America. There's also places in the South Island of New Zealand. In away from the cities mm -hmm. all of these places are away from heavily populated areas mm -hmm. right. and it sounds like it's pretty evenly spread out around the world oh yes and mm -hmm. there are pockets increasing mm -hmm. these are just a few that mm -hmm. we are describing mm -hmm. and all these groups there are aware of each other's work 
Uh, some are connected. Okay. But it's all the same yes. kind of work, gathering the, the energy in the mm. same way as you're describing? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there is, um, there is some reluctance to speak about it mm -hmm. on this one. But there is um, there is a place in the North Island, mm -hmm. in the, sort of the central area of the North Island, okay. and so mm -hmm. uh, the people there also are aware of connecting in with these new creations. Mm -hmm. And what does their work as humans actually involve on a physical level? What are they actually doing to activate this? They're working with materials uh, which um, have come in from the way to use the materials has come in from other dimensions, other planetary systems. Mm -hmm. because there's a way of working with what exists on planet Earth to change the molecular structure of it to form other uh, um, it's not like metals but other formulations that can be moulded and shaped mm -hmm. other material mm -hmm. And it is this new type of material that can be used to receive and amplify mm -hmm. the energy that's used. Just as, just as you are aware that crystals have been used for a long time mm -hmm. to receive energy and to be used, there are different ways of using that. Mm -hmm and some of the substances that are within the minerals on the planet. Right. So yeah. So these materials if they've came from other dimensions, are they renewable within this earth or do they need to keep coming through from other other ways? Uh, they can be continued to be used, uh, created on what's available here okay, in so the planet. Okay, so they're made now. Yes. It's, it's the concept of it, mm -hmm. basically, because what was given to the planet over stages of its evolution, some of those came in from beings who brought them to the planet. Mm -hmm. And they have existed here. Mm -hmm. They have been viewed mainly as people became aware of measuring energy, they would find that energy was different and even a slight difference in gravity in certain places around the planet. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is where some of these uh, other energies from other uh, planetary systems were implanted and brought in. Mm -hmm. So this is all being revealed and discovered and it's some of those that is being used to create these different substances. Can you give us an idea of these different substances and materials as to what they would be made out of from this earth? Well, they come in with the appearance of um, translucent and shimmering, mm -hmm. malleable sheets. They can be can be formed into flat sheets, it can be shaped into shapes, mm -hmm. but it almost gives the appearance of uh, shimmering and translucence, a little bit of opaqueness, mm -hmm. it can be shaped into spheres to hold energy, and uh, some of those are the communication part aspects of of the system mm -hmm. so as we are talking about mm -hmm. this you may be 
having a sense mm-hmm. of uh, various areas around the planet being linked up and mm. communication flowing between them. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm. I'm seeing like particles all connecting together. Yes. Mm. yes. Yeah, that we wouldn't yes. usually see on a hu- uh, with the human eye, but it's yes. all there, would we say, beyond the veil yes. of what we can see. Yes. Mm. Yes. Wonderful. Now there's talk... Um, about um, a soul affair on the, uh, about the 18th, 20th of March this year, like a shift of an energy wave or or something. Is can you expand on that for us, or explain this for us, or if this is what this has to do with? Um, I'm going deeper to have a sense of this. Okay. I just find it interesting that all this is going on at the present time and yet there's more awareness of things like the soul affairs happening and it's more in the media and the general public knowing about it now. People expect different effects people expect to destabilize communications and destabilize the planet. Um, it, it has always been that there have been rays of energy suffusing the planet mm-hmm. and the energy is necessary for people to help adjust their energy frequency um, to for moments lose the sense of who they are as a a human Mm -hmm. form Mm -hmm. and for moments to lose the sense of time and place. And when that happens, they are shifted into different concepts and different realities. So in this sense, when these rays come through from the sun, they are also emitting signals which the bodies can respond to in such a way that they may feel they are uplifted out of time and out of physical matter and they will be according to their own receptivity. Mm-hmm. If they are not receptive to the rays of light there will be Um, disturbances in their thoughts and perhaps physical symptoms of nausea or headache. Mm -hmm. This has this has happened continuously and there are often rays coming forward Mm -hmm. to people that are not spoken about Mm -hmm. as as these rays from the sun and flares from the sun mm-hmm. so it has been happening many times mm-hmm. what many we do many times over over the lifespan of the earth or yeah. oh yes really? yes yes. Mm-hmm. yes as long as there has been and is existence mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the central sun has been changing and emitting mm-hmm. rays of light and mm-hmm. and the warmth and the light and the mm-hmm. and uh, the sending forth as the flares as they are called or okay. the expansions. So it's all for expansion. Yes. Would you say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was, I was going back to the, this energy. 
the source that's coming through and being discovered and coming through now. Um, is this what's going to help harmonize and help balance out these rising energies that are coming through all the new technologies that are happening on the planet now? Or is it going to cancel them out? Or what is it? Are you able to expand or explain that? It, it will help the expansion of the new ways of working with the light and energy. Mm -hmm. And it will help the energy of the physical form, the bodies. What's needed is the new ways of using the light that we have been speaking about. Mm -hmm. That is needed rather than the pattern that has been worked on. Mm -hmm. But saying that, it is unfolding and the, the more that the technology is changed and evolved into high energy, the more the creators of it will realise they are tapping into uh, a pattern of uh, using light and energy. So it's all happening mm -hmm. really to come forward as part of the evolving and using light technology. Mm -hmm. okay. So all this, is this a way of saving the planet? <laughs> using this kind of energy rather than unrenew unrenewable energy such as coal and such? Yes, it is evolving and there is, it's not like good or bad or failure or whatever. It's the existence and experience of different creations that helps people evolve mm -hmm. and it is through the experience that uh, changes are made mm -hmm. and they realize the effect of some of the experiences and creations mm -hmm. there will be a point where the science of technology will will meet this uh, d different concept mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and when that happens that's the inclusion in the web of the higher consciousness field mm -hmm. uh, the inclusion of those ones who uh, work methodically you might say mm -hmm. But they are learning, they are learning to grasp onto different concepts mm -hmm. and learning to find ways to put it into instruments. Now what is happening of course is that uh, at present everything is geared around finances. Mm -hmm and limited by finances mm -hmm. in many ways. Whereas the shift to the concept of using the energy and discovering the energy devices that had been implanted on the earth will release that new technology available for everybody, mm -hmm. uh, not, uh, not as an expensive item okay. that needs amounts of money to mm -hmm. buy mm -hmm. and that's the shift that's needed yeah. and um, it is taking some time to allow that to be the predominant pattern mm -hmm. to bring it in. Mm -hmm. okay. Wonderful, thank you for the explanation. Um, so is there a next step if it's appropriate for us to take with this 
or what is the next step that these groups will do in order to bring it forth some more to to let everybody know about it who's supposed to know about it well it will be made known through your devices that you already have to observe the information will be released through your communities through the the way you communicate around the earth at the present time okay mm -hmm. it will be used in that way so will there come a time if it's appropriate to know right now where this will be our main source of energy on this planet earth a time frame is not uh, able to be given at this time because it keeps shifting. Yeah. Okay. But do you think it will, or do you know if it will actually eventuate into that at all? Yes, it, it is working towards that, it is moving towards that, it is ga gaining mm -hmm. momentum towards mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And in your lifetime. So pretty soon. Yes. Yes, because we do see in this lifetime so much destruction where we know that it can't keep going on like this. So it, it is like it needs to happen quite soon, quite fast forward. Yeah. Mm, there will be a continuation of what is happening now. Mm -hmm. And it will be existing alongside the the newer ways, we will call mm -hmm. it the newer ways, okay. the holistic ways, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the newer holistic ways will be there to provide the ways to people when it's needed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like one step at a time, one group, one country at a time kind of thing? Yeah, small pockets small everywhere. Pockets. Mm -hmm which will expand into okay. uses mm -hmm. for you to understand there is uh, many people to be touched and yes. um, introduced to the mm -hmm. different ways yes this new concept mm -hmm. um, so in effect as the other ways, these old ways that are harming the earth are going to continue. Is this way sort of helping as it grows to harmonise that that other way out as it slowly starts to spread and, and take over? Yes, it is expanding. You would perhaps visualise it as, as light expanding mm -hmm. outward okay. from small pockets. Mm -hmm. the places. So this information that's coming through now as Lani and I were having a discussion about earlier, how can we use this to help our community and put it forward for the greater good to help others? What's the best way that we can use this information? our human race today to be able to see beyond what they may not be seeing and know that there is other concepts out there that are for the good so we can all create that positive vibration to help it along mm, it is useful to release this information in the way that you can both share it with people you know, with your... Uh, you might find there is already established people who are sharing advanced information like mm -hmm. this. Okay. And it can be presented to them. Mm -hmm. um, and you must individually hold the intention that it goes to the right people yeah. and you know the greater level of consciousness 
is aware of that mm-hmm. with already with the connections. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as long as our intentions for it are still pure, then it will reach. Yes. Reach others. Yes. Take it with the best intentions as well for the greater good of humanity and evolution. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there any physical way that we could go about this? Any ideas as to what would be the best, the most effective and efficient way to get this information out there with the best intentions or words? It seems to be a knowledge that you can uh, put on your websites. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, you know, there's a something called YouTube, which is very popular here, which many people use and can tap into from anywhere. Um, would it be advisable to share on a channel such as that on YouTube? Mm, that will reach many people. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, that would be. That would be a good way to get it out there. Okay, wonderful, thank you. And we will trust our intuition as to what's the best way. Well, thank you very much for the information you've been giving us here. Um, there's been a lot of it, so we'll put